Now let's compare the cost of CARB versus EFI. So obviously fuel injected bikes, they're going to be more expensive to buy a bike with fuel injected just because of the advancement in technology. For example, the Honda CRF 250F has fuel injection and retail I believe is like $47.99 whereas the Yamaha TTR 230, which is a direct competitor, it has a carburetor. It hasn't really changed in almost 20 years, and the retail, I think, is at least two or 300 bucks cheaper than that. Then as far as the cost of maintenance goes, it really depends on you, how you maintain your bikes. I really don't see a whole lot of difference, at least in the short term, as far as maintenance costs goes, because as long as you're using fresh gas and you're not letting your bike sit for extended periods of time so three six twelve months uh, you're probably not going to run into issues how about reliability which one is going to be less likely for uh, to cause problems when you're out on the trails well you might think that well carb is simple there's no electronics with it it's going to be less likely to have problems besides I've heard of rumors of fuel injected bikes having the fuel filter get plugged or just random electrical issues. But in actuality, those are few and far between. And if there were major problems, pretty much all the brands or the companies have figured those out in the first years of the fuel injected dirt bikes. They're all pretty much reliable now. And as long as, like I said, you're using fresh gas and not letting your bike sit and if you're not making modifications to your bike if you're keeping your bike stock that's going to be the most reliable bike you can own and ride once people start uh, filling with their bike making changes that's when reliability goes down but that's a topic for another video and then what about maintenance now i briefly covered this but what does it actually take to maintain a carb or efi bike well if you're riding a bike every month and you're using fresh gas, you're not letting your bike sit for long periods of time, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of maintenance to do. But if you're using poor quality gas, uh, gas that's old or it has ethanol in it, uh, it's more likely to have water in it uh, or break down and gum up. This is when you get those filter problems. The fuel filter gets plugged up. Uh, or even the pre-filter if you have one in, uh, on the gas line of your carburetor. And if you don't, uh, it can plug up the jets in your carburetor. But after having carbureted bikes for 20 plus years, I've found that you're generally going to have more maintenance on a carburetor dirt bike because the jet circuits are smaller and they're a lot more likely to plug up. And when they get plugged up, uh, this makes the bike hard to start or impossible to start, not stay running, have poor throttle response so you feel really jerky or maybe it bogs or fuel can start leaking out the overflow because uh, the needle and seat are sticking open. Uh, these are just problems that you don't really have with fuel injection. Like if you sit a carbureted bike sit for a year, it might take 10, 20, 30 kicks to get started. You might have to clean the carb to get it to run perfect. Whereas a fuel injected bike, if you let it sit for a year and as long as the battery is fully charged, it's probably going to start up just the same as when you put it away. So what do you prefer, carb or fuel injection? I know that you might have a different opinion than me, but after explaining the differences and pros and cons of each, which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Kelly Fager from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.